In 2019, a 71-year-old man, father of two, was brought to the emergency department with severe shortness of breath and weakness. He and his family were shocked to learn that he had to start dialysis immediately. They were shocked because he never had kidney disease and his kidney function was more than 60 at his last checkup. But now he's struggling to breathe and the doctors say that his kidneys are the cause. But why is that happening? Well, after studying his case in depth, the doctors found out that a food the man started to eat just a few months prior has caused his kidneys to fail. A plant-based food that is supposedly healthy. Catherine here, I've been helping people suffering from kidney disease taking control of their health for more than a decade now. And while there is no denying that a plant-based diet is the cornerstone of any treatment for kidney disease, not all plant-based foods are healthy for you. There are 8 fruit and vegetables that you should keep an eye on next time you go grocery shopping. Some of these will make your sugar levels skyrocket. Some will make you gain weight and some, like the food that the 71-year-old from today's case study consume, may even destroy your kidneys. We avoid it. So be careful and make sure you are not eating any of these eight foods without knowing about the risks. Now a little heads up before we start. This is not a comprehensive list of foods to avoid, just fruit and veggies with hidden risks. Because I believe that if you follow me here regularly, you already know that animal-based foods such as meat, fish and dairy and also many processed foods are bad for you. So I'm not going to talk about that. Only about foods that can be bad for you even if they are plant-based. And also I will tell you immediately that some of the foods in today's video are only dangerous if eaten in too high amounts, alright? So if it's on this list, it doesn't mean you can't have it at all. But that you should be careful. Let's see why now. Starting with number 8 is blackstrap molasses, tomato sauce and dried fruit. Now these foods are not going to send you in dialysis. They are still dangerous though. They may cause your heart to stop beating. And the reason why CKD patients are supposed to avoid these foods is because they are too rich in potassium. Okay, now you may ask, but Catherine, you always say that potassium is not dangerous for us. That's right, almost all high potassium fruit and veggies are not forbidden anymore for people with CKD. But there are still exceptions to the rule. You see, some food items are way too high in potassium to be really recommended. These foods can be considered a hidden danger. I'm talking about dried fruits, for example. I wouldn't recommend eating dried apricots, raisins, and prunes to someone in stage 4 CKD even with normal potassium levels. The reason? When these fruits are dried out, many nutrients are lost, but not potassium. In fact, dried apricots, for example, have about 850 milligrams of potassium per 100 gram serving. That's a huge amount. That's like eating five bananas in one sitting. 
unless your potassium levels are too low. This can be dangerous if done regularly. So don't avoid bananas unless your potassium levels are too high already, but be careful with blackstrap molasses, tomato sauce and dried fruits. And guys, if you think this info is important, share this video with a friend and also give it a like so that more people will be able to see it. Okay, up next, a vegetable with a hidden danger even worse than potassium. Number seven is legumes. Okay, this is something that's really more on the limit list rather than the avoid list. Legumes can actually be very healthy for you. In fact, recently we learned about a stage 5 patient already on dialysis that was able to reverse his kidney disease back to stage 4 thanks to a diet rich in legumes. But you see, this doesn't mean you can eat legumes with abundance. The reason is their protein content. Protein is very dangerous for you if you have kidney disease. Excess protein intake is one of the main reasons why most patients cannot stop the decline of their kidney function, says science. In fact, while high potassium foods are forbidden just to those patients with too high serum potassium levels that can't be resolved with better medications, high protein foods are forbidden to everyone with CKD, including those in stage 3. So my advice here is not to completely avoid legumes, but to be careful with them. Most beans and soy in particular are very high in protein and they can easily make you go over your daily limit for this nutrient. String beans, chickpeas and lentils are lower in protein and they are safer. Up next, a food that can be even more dangerous if eaten in too high amounts. Number six, nuts. Just like legumes, nuts are high in protein and they should always be eaten in moderation. But there is a reason why nuts are higher on this list of dangerous fruits and veggies than legumes. Nuts are also very high in calories and this can be a problem especially for people with diabetes or those that need to lose weight. But how caloric dense are nuts actually? Well, to give you an idea, this you see here is 200 calories from mixed nuts compared to 200 calories from apples. Same calories, very different amount of food. Now guys, this doesn't mean you should completely avoid nuts, not even if you need to lose weight. It just means that you should eat nuts in moderation. Because just like legumes, nuts can be extremely healthy. For example, walnuts are full of omega-3s, which are essential fatty acids that are pretty hard to get in a renal diet. Almonds are full of magnesium to lower your blood pressure. Pecans are full of antioxidants. Brazil nuts have selenium, a mineral that protects the kidneys. But they are also caloric dense, so moderation is key here. And yes, this can really make a difference if your goal is avoiding kidney failure. Just like avoiding the next entry for today. Before I show you what it is, a question. Is any of these foods the cause for the 71-year-old man to end up in dialysis? Well, no, it's actually the number one for today's video, so don't miss it. Because if you want to understand which ones of these foods are just bad and which ones can literally destroy your kidneys, you need to see the number one. Well, yeah, this is a top eight list. So the higher the food on the list, the more dangerous it is. But we must also account for how your body will react to these foods. Not everyone reacts the same way to what they eat. In fact, an abnormal reaction to a certain food item was what caused the 71-year-old father of two to lose all of his kidney function in a few months. Actually, when the doctors started to investigate, what they found in his kidneys was so remarkable they actually wrote and published a case study about this finding. A crystal buildup similar to extended kidney stones was found in his kidneys. And that was very strange because the man never suffered from kidney stones nor had the risk factors. The most interesting part was discovering that the food that caused all his trouble was a food that's usually considered very safe and it's also the number one of this list, so don't miss it. Before that, our number five, which is 
Can veggies. Okay, let's talk for a moment one of the most dangerous minerals, sodium. Excess sodium or salt in the diet is one of the worst causes of hypertension, heart and kidney disease because while salt by itself is not dangerous, you only need a very small amount of it. This is what you need, 1.5 grams of sodium a day, no more. And I know that you guys following me right now do your best to avoid excess sodium in the diet. The problem is not you, the problem is marketing. Fact. According to a recent statistic, over half of the packaged foods that are sold as healthy are too high in fat, sodium and sugar. Yes, it's very easy to get fooled by the marketing department. It's basically their job. But make sure this doesn't happen to you. Your kidneys are on the line. Canned vegetables are especially dangerous. They tend to be higher in sodium since salt is often used as a preservative. For example, a half cup serving of canned peas has around 310 milligrams of sodium. Now also keep in mind that this danger can be limited if you rinse canned foods very well or if you can find brands that sell low sodium canned vegetables. So be careful, always read the labels and rinse your canned veggies. Our number four is especially bad because it may put you at risk for toxin exposure right when you are eating some very healthy foods. This one is so dangerous that it may even increase the chance of developing CAD by 25%. I'm talking about number four, the dirty dozen. Okay, I cannot make a list of veggies that are potentially harmful to the kidneys without mentioning the dirty dozen. These foods are way more dangerous than people realize, a real hidden threat for CKD patients. So what is the dirty dozen? And why are these foods so much more dangerous than most people think? The Environmental Working Group EWG, a non-profit organization that exposes the health risks of industrial agriculture, has complied this list based on extensive testing and analysis. The Dirty Dozen are the foods that they found to have the highest levels of toxic chemicals. Pesticides, fungicides, the harmful chemicals and other toxins that shouldn't be on fruit and veggies that shouldn't be used at all and that are still in our food in 2023. Yes, they keep finding banned pesticides on fruit and veggies such as DDT for example that was banned decades ago but that still lingers in the soil. So what foods are in the dirty dozen? In 2023, the foods in the Dirty Dozen are strawberries, spinach, kale, collard and mustard greens, peaches, pears, nectarines, apples, grapes, bell and hot peppers, cherries, blueberries, green beans. And most importantly, should you avoid these healthy fruit and vegetables? Well, no, I don't think you should avoid them. So don't throw away your kale and apples now. They are better solutions than avoiding this long list of foods. What to do then? First of all, make sure you wash your produce very well. Use a water and baking soda bath. Scrub the peel of your fruit if you want to eat it and rinse everything with lots of water. Then dry everything with a clean cloth. And also consider buying organic, especially when it comes to the foods in this list. Okay, time for our top three now. We have seen some foods most people can still eat on this list, either in moderation or by taking precautions. Time now to see some vegetables that can cause very serious damage to your kidneys. There are two entries in this top three that you should always avoid and one that could potentially send you in dialysis. This is what happened to the 71-year-old man that I featured in the intro of this video. Okay, we will see what food causes this in a moment. Before that, our number three. This is a vegetable-based product you should always avoid, no matter what. Number three is vegetable oils for frying. Okay, vegetable oils come with two dangers. First of all, just like nuts, oil is very caloric dense. Oils in general are actually the most caloric dense food item that there is. It's hard to explain this in words, so here's an example. This you see here is 200 calories from apples compared to 200 calories from canola oil. 
Yeah, the amount of oil in that glass is so small you can barely see it. And it has the same identical amount of calories you will get from eating two medium-sized apples. So yeah, oils are extremely caloric dense. Make sure you keep this fact in mind. This is especially important for people with diabetes and for those that need to lose weight. But it also could be a good thing for those patients that are in an advanced stage of kidney disease, all right? If you are struggling to keep your body weight on, olive oil in particular can be your best friend. It's so easy to add a ton of calories if you add olive oil to your meals. You won't even notice the oil. Now, the reason why oil is so high on this list is because most people use oils for frying. And this is bad. Frying oil is way, way worse for your kidneys than the other foods we have seen until now. Fried foods are high in saturated and even worse trans fats. These fats have been linked to increased blood cholesterol levels, more arterial plaque, heart and kidney damage. Don't fry your foods. Okay, something even worse that still has the name fruit on it. Number two, fruit juice. Fruit juice is one of the worst food items ever to be associated with fruit, especially because it's marketed towards the youngest. It's no secret that food companies are to blame for today's growing obesity problem, and fruit juices are one of the causes. If you're drinking a cup or 250 milliliters of fruit juice, you're ingesting up to 30 grams or 8 teaspoons of sugar, and that's a lot of calories that will go in your blood real quick, causing a spike in insulin. And added sugar is not just linked to diabetes, but also to high blood pressure, inflammation, heart disease, and a ton more health issues. So yeah, always steer clear of fruit juice, but what can be even worse, you may ask. Our number one for today. This is the food that sent the 71-year-old man, father of two, to the emergency room. Back to our case study. As the doctors found out after doing a biopsy, the cause for kidney failure was a buildup of oxalate crystal. And do you want to know what foods caused it? Well, the reason why the 71-year-old man had kidney failure is the diet too rich in peanut butter and coffee. Now guys, wait a minute before you throw away your coffee machine and your peanut butter jar. You see, what happened to this man is actually very strange. It's uncommon enough that they made a case study about it. You see, oxalate crystal, just like kidney stones, are usually present in people with oxalate sensitivity, which the patient didn't have, or in those following a diet too poor in calcium and in those that don't drink enough water. And he didn't do any of that either. He was just eating tons of peanut butter and also three to four large cups of coffee daily. And this brought to the discovery of a pathology that was never seen before, a rare genetic condition that this man has. Well, so the lesson here is not to exaggerate with peanut butter and coffee, especially if you know you have an oxalate sensitivity. And guys, if you want to learn more about what foods are too high in oxalate and how to mitigate the risk, this video up here is for you. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.